All right, so here we're going to show you exactly how to trade the W pattern, all right? So with a W pattern, you're looking at a buy situation. So the market, you'll see the market comes down, shall shift down, then push up. Come about 50% of that initial leg here, comes up 50%, pushes back down, not able to break that support level of their previous low. And then what she'll do is she'll shift right on back up, breaking the previous high and continue to move in a buy direction, giving you a beautiful W pattern, okay? So how do you trade the W pattern? Very, very simple, okay? So what you'll notice, the market has given you a support level right here. You will see the market comes down, touch that twice, and then bounce and go in the opposite direction. This is your previous high. This is also con considered your neckline. Here, you will put in a buy entry. So this will become your buy entry, okay, right here. This will become your stop loss if you use that as your stop loss. I like to use half the distance of that measured move. Okay, put this at the bottom. And to gain your take profit, so find out where your take profit levels will be, all you're doing is, is measuring the distance. Measure the distance between the support, let me a resistance level and your support level. So your buy entry and your stop loss, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna use a rectangle tool and just measure the distance like this and then move it on top of your resistance line where your previous high was, all right? You will mark off half the distance and then you will mark off the top of that box and all that is is your take profit one and your take profit two now also i like to use like i stated in a previous video half the distance of this measured move here to use as my stop loss to give me a nice risk to reward ratio all right so this will become my stop loss all right removing this as my stop loss here okay so now I have my stop loss in place giving me a nice like I said risk to reward ratio so I will make I'm risking 13 pips to get 15 or 31 pips you can either use a one-to-one -one here from stop loss to you take profit one that's a one to one ratio or a one to two ratio risk to reward all right so this is btp1 and this will become your tp2 and it's just as simple as that